Hi, today I'm going to show you this circuit. It is based on one of my uh, favorite uh, ICs and it works as a password lock. So it is uh, a lock that can be controlled on and off by a password and if the password is wrong it's not gonna be working but if the work where the password is right so it will work. This IC is not a programmable IC so it's not based on microcontroller, Arduino or any kind of microcontroller which is the beauty here and we can make many things like this just based on this IC. So today we're gonna demonstrate this circuit first and then I will show you the schematic and explain it. So let's try now to demonstrate it. So um, I just connected to the 5 volt uh, rail supply and then we have a relay here and there is a LED. This relay and LED will turn on if my password is right. And I just printed my password uh, at the back of this PCB in very small font just as a rem reminder for me. So it is 5073. Let's try it. 5 so here the keys are not in the normal order but we can try it so five zero seven three and it turns on now okay so i can clear it by cancel again five zero seven three it turns on if i just enter any different password five zero six three and didn't turn on okay so now if i uh, entered it in different order like five three seven zero it didn't turn on as well so we should turn it in specific order five zero seven three otherwise it will not work so now this circuit is smart enough i think to the to worth explaining it and how we did it without a programmable microcontroller this video is sponsored by jlc pcb the biggest pcb manufacturer from china who manufactures 10 pcb with the dimension of 10 by 10 centimeter for just two dollars the new thing now with JLC PCB, you can choose any color and the price will stay as $2. I use their services all the time for all kinds of PCBs. Small, big, multi-layer, flexible, throw hole and SMD PCBs with different solder mask colors and shapes. So here is the schematic and how I did it. So it is CD4017. It is the famous logic ic it's a decade counter with 10 decoded outputs so we have 10 outputs here but i just showing you now here just uh, four of them one two three four and the last one which is the controlling pin to the uh, to the relay okay so how we start thinking about such such a circuit and how we make it in specific order and if any other um, um, keys has been pressed we cancel the, the the code or the operation so for any uh, IC like this we have some outputs these outputs each one will turn on if I made a pulse on the clock pin here so we have here number 14 it's a clock pin if I made a rising edge clock here it will move the on from Q's Q0 to Q1 then to Q2 then to Q3 then to Q4 that's why I made a Q4 to control the output here because if all my uh, right buttons has been pressed in the right order so this will turn to this will turn to this and move to this and then we'll move at the last pin here or last button here will move to Q4 and this will turn on my my lock or my relay okay so now uh, the logic behind it is I want my right keys which is this key this key this key this key and I can choose it to be any any different keys I choose it now uh, to be 5073 and you can choose it whatever you want later on okay these keys now you can choose in different orders as well okay so the first key it should be 
uh, triggered or to be energized by Q0, okay? And this is on by default. So when you turn on this circuit or this IC and supply it by 5 volt, this will be on by default, okay? So this now put on will be uh, powered by 5 volt here, okay? And then we'll go to clock input here if you pressed it okay so if i pressed any other buttons there and there it will not trigger the ic and the clock will not receive any uh, any pulse and this will not go to q1 so now i'm waiting for this button which is connected to q0 to be pressed first after getting this pressed so it will send a pulse to clock and this will move the on side from q0 to q1 after that, this button will be now energized, and this will repeat the same process. It's waiting for this button to be uh, pressed, and then then will um, will make uh, a trigger pulse to the clock side, and then this one, and then this one. After I press the last one to the clock side, uh, uh, to the clock uh, input, this will move that on to Q4, and this will turn on the relay by default. Okay, so now we understand why. We have these buttons there are energized by Qs here, okay? But why these diodes? Because if I pressed by uh, by mistake uh, two buttons at at the same time, so one will be uh, will be connected to Q0 and one will be connected to Q1, for example, and one uh, has the logic one and one has the logic zero. If I made it both of them to be pressed, I am shorting both of them, and this is. Uh, like maybe damage the IC or make like excessive uh, current consumption or current flow there okay so that's why we have these days just to prevent such a case okay we understand now these four keys just uh, are assigned as the proper keys of a piece of the, of the password and then we can actually set our password to be anything what about other keys any other keys in our keypad uh, we can choose them in any a different order any other keys letters anything we all of them connected to 5 volt okay and then any of them is pressed at any time in any order this will um, send um, at an enable or 5 volt to reset once we have reset as high so this will reset the IC and all any other inputs I have done before that it will be cleared okay so it will reset it from Q0 again okay so uh, it, this one is very easy okay so this is the logic and how we think about designing such a, a, a circuit it's very easy without programming so uh, what I did later I uh, moved this circuit into software to PCB software and then generated a Gerber file and send it to a JLC PCB and then we have this circuit so this is the PCB from JLC PCB and uh, that one is really uh, good and I can choose any color you can choose red yellow green any color and all the cost of that is just two dollars okay so I made um, uh, like here a symbol for that you can make like these things using any software I used easy EDA for that and I made here just two holes like this just to hook it up I can I can just hook it up um, anywhere okay by two nails two screws and make it like um, uh, elegant okay so here is uh, my IC here are my buttons okay and uh, the relay and the lid okay so let's now I just add added the lid here okay so it is just the resistor and lid there okay so once I turn it on the transistor turns on so the lid and relay uh, turn on as well okay so let's go back after soldering and see how we control it so here is the circuit again here is the relay, it, uh, I choose it to be 5 volt relay because my supply here is 5 volt. Here is the uh, 220 ohm with the LED uh, resistor here and I have this connector is connected to the normally open 
and common of this relay so i can actually choose it to be connected to um, anything okay so it can be choose to to control like uh, door lock or um, uh, cupboard lock or any lamp any any load you can choose it to be connected here with any voltage source as well okay so here is my i i just choose to uh, organize all these leds uh, and all these days and resistors in this order here here's my ic and here is my transistor you can actually choose to uh reorganize these these uh, these keys as you want and you can also connect them externally to um, any other kind of buttons as well all the links uh, for this schematic and uh, jlcbcb.com as well it will be under this video i hope you enjoyed this video and please give me thumb up and see you next time in another design and thank you very much